Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Zona. I share videos regarding fashion, how to style, shopping for clothes, handbags and eating out with my handbags. <laughs> also, I have videos regarding uh, my vacations. In the last six months, I was able to visit four countries. I was just so lucky that I didn't get into that craziness in the airport with what's going on in the world right now i'm very fortunate that i was able to come back before the pandemic has been announced in the entire world and i know i understand what's going on right now is very difficult for everybody as well as for me this is something i haven't seen in my lifetime and i'm sure most of us haven't seen something like this so i have been figuring out what's really going on and watching the news every day also i have been cleaning up i know this is a very sad and difficult time and i wanted to do this unboxing video to kind of give you an idea on how i do it myself learning how to open your packages safely which i learned from a lot of doctors and scientists as i keep watching the news today i'm going to give you some idea on how you could open your boxes or orders online during this pandemic so i'm gonna do an unboxing for one of these a lot of scientists and doctors have different conflicting time frame how long they will stay alive in any surfaces boxes or stainless steel and so i have made my own decision on how to deal with it some of them says that in soft surfaces the virus could stay from two to six hours in hard surfaces, it could stay from four to seven days. Seven days if it's cold inside with the air conditioning and in the metal, it would stay for seven days alive on metal surfaces if the room is cold. And if it's warm, it could live up to four days or less. So that's what I've heard so far from most of the popular scientists. But for me to play it safe, if I'm buying something online, usually I plan ahead already two weeks before I need the products or three weeks. So I would already order it. And when it arrives, I do not touch it for seven days if I don't have a serious need for it. So that just makes it more safe and I feel that I don't have a need to use a disinfectant or Lysol to even spray the products. Because according to the scientists, the virus doesn't keep alive without a host. So I'm assuming that seven days should be good enough. Sometimes I go eight days. And if I get a package and it's not in the box and it's just in the, in the plastic bags, the softer products, I normally would just leave it for four days before I open them. But sometimes because I get so busy, I just keep everything in seven days. And also, I don't want to get too confused as well. Seven days is my safety net. I feel comfortable that way. And I feel I could save my disinfectant for other things that I need to do. And I don't have to use them on those products if I keep it seven days without touching them. I just leave it in the garage before I bring it inside the house. I leave it for seven days and then that's when I open them. I'm just so glad that I'm able to do all my shoppings on my birthday. I have videos of all my unboxings this year. I have the link down below if you want to check them out. I love shopping in Paris and for now I have more than enough of what I need. I would keep me going and I still plan to go back to Paris for the meantime I'm just gonna save my money because I have a couple other bags that is in my wish list to complete my classic collections and right now it's really irrelevant to do any luxury shoppings anyway because of first of all we don't have anywhere to go and second of all I think that this economy I am not sure everyone is quite 
scared right now to spend their money and I have experience back in 2008 when the market crashed I became a minimalist so I'm kind of like trying to be that way again however I'm hoping to enjoy all the products and items that I recently bought and I could share them with you on different ways on styling them so I'm still gonna continue doing that and I try not to talk too much about the virus because it's really quite depressing so I'm hoping that I could still entertain you in my own ways and we are in this together I know one day that the world will open again I know that this is not gonna last forever and for the meantime I think it's best to be very careful in how you spend your money I want to show you this box right here I bought this from Tory Burch online I love shopping Tory Burch it's one of those brand that I know I could get a good deal if I buy it here in America because I did went to Tory Burch in France and Paris and I seem to notice that their prices are quite higher or a little bit more expensive than what we have here and I haven't really seen any sale items over there so I recommend when you buy Tory Burch I think USA has the best price from what I noticed as of today I've actually ordered this after I came back from Paris when they were having a very good sale going on I got my mom a bag uh, I think the Kira bag was that so I bought her that and I bought this for myself but I haven't had a chance to unbox it just because I was so busy working sorting out videos that I could share with you a lot of unboxing sharing all my videos is quite overwhelming it's a lot of work and cleaning my house spring cleaning reorganizing my furniture then the virus came along watching the news every day so I actually forgot about this and good thing I still have it and I wanted to do an unboxing video so because this has been sitting for a long time at least more than a month then I am safe to unbox it without disinfecting but if you are really going to unbox something that you just got in the mail I would recommend you wear gloves and if you don't have gloves you could touch it but try not to put your hands in your face because that could easily be very dangerous for you to get the virus also when you have your item inside and you really need it before the seven days i assume that where depending on where it came from it should have already almost killed the virus because it takes a few days for it to ship but if you're not very sure you could spray them with disinfectant if it's in a container you could spray them with disinfectant but if like shoes and clothes of course you don't want to spray them i would just leave it alone for a few days before i even touch it put it in a plastic bag set it aside but if it's like vitamins or whatever you're buying and you could spray the outside of it then uh, you should do so all right so here it is i use a knife to open it and because this one i feel safe i don't think i need anything to spray it with because i'm sure no more covid19 here and anyhow this is the receipt it always comes with the little description of the item so this one is a metal miller 65 mm wedge perfect black and gold so this is considered a final sale so i actually bought it march 3rd 2020 so here it is i don't know i i'm not sure if i have this kind of shoes i don't think so I have a lot of Tory Burch but I really like them and if I do have one I am not finished cleaning up and organizing my shoes but if I do have the same thing I'll just keep it 
for extra but i did get a very good deal on this uh i think it was like 30 percent off so here it is let's open it so third birch is really special i really like this brand for shoes and some of their handbags are also nice nice for everyday use So let's open it. I I have to really minimize shopping and start wearing the clothes and shoes that I have because there's a lot of them that I haven't even touched since I bought it and and that's just the way I am. I don't know. I just like to always prepare ahead of time, get all the things I need, and then I rest a little bit and then that's when I pick up one of them for use but right now there's really nowhere else to go but a little bit of work so then i don't know i <laughs> i don't think it's really really wise to be shopping for more and i really love going to paris because i save a lot of money so if i have a big item to buy for luxury paris is the, the place to be in of course i met a lot of my friends there now they're on my instagram and i just love french people and the people there that i met everyone was just so nice so anywho here it is oh my god how how stunning oh it's so nicely wrapped oh gosh I am praying that this is in good condition because right now I could not exchange it or anything and it's been over a month since I bought it but yeah this is looks so good look at that wedgie sandals black and gold this uh, covering it seems to be a good condition there's a little bit of a scratch over here yeah there is a little bit of scratch but uh oh well you know i got a good deal a good price for it so and uh, i don't think you could really complain more but this is it so cute so are you the type of person that can easily adjust adapt and overcome a situation i hope so uh make your comments down below i am that type of person i've been through a lot ups and down and i just seem to be very easily adaptable and i know how to be simple i know how to have nice stuff and either way it's not a big deal for me but of course it's always good when you work so hard that you have to at least enjoy your money and some people have different definition of luxury i think luxury is something that makes you happy in extra to what you do every day and if you can have the chance to be in that position to acquire them then do so because this at least makes you more motivated so some people they just love to travel some people they just like to shop some people they just like to eat so it depends you know what is luxury to you it's relevant it's needed in order for you to uh, be a happier person I mean what why are we even working right so at least 10 or 20 percent of your income you have to invest it in yourself whatever you do with your money whatever you do with it it has to be something that is uplifting you and that's my definition of luxury and it's always good to appreciate every little thing you have and be happy and just be grateful whether it's expensive not expensive popular or not so popular it's okay it's yours so when i go shopping i have to really really like the product and so that when i am feeling sad it makes me happy just to look at them that's how i have matured um, learning about myself and how i spend as of now i don't really have any item that i regret on buying so i really can't make that kind of video for you but <laughs> i don't know it might change but we'll see but 
this is it isn't she gorgeous i don't think i have this so i'm glad to have it I also have some bonus unboxing for you guys and I bought this around the same time early March late February I have a reward for about $40 and they were giving $10 if you shop American Eagle online and I was able to acquire these cute items right here and one sandals I'm so excited to share it with you uh, I can't believe I only paid like six dollars and 97 cents for all of this so i'm very excited i'm so delighted and i know this product is not something that i really need but i just felt like oh you know it's six dollars 97 cents you can't beat that and a few more items makes uh, my day complete so on this on these items they have been sitting for more than a month now so i don't need to disinfect them you have to be careful with items that you buy nowadays all right so i have this first one this one is like a earrings with the daisy flowers it's a hoop white and gold this is just so cute i can't wait to wear them oh my and then the next one I have here some socks so I got three pairs of socks I'm not sure about shopping Amazon fashion anymore some of the clothes that I bought from Amazon after washing them once it's like ruined already so I'm not sure and not 100% happy about my amazon shopping that i did a while back i have a video regarding that i got a lot of good deals ten dollars fifteen dollars but um you have to be very careful because the quality on some of their shirts uh, is not good even uh some jacket that i bought of course the return policy i think you have only 30 days and i think if you have already worn the product you're not able to return it i'm not sure and so here's the other one how cute is this so this is to cover your eyes when you're sleeping how neat <laughs> and then i got another shoes for let's open this up Charan, how cute it almost looks like the Saint Laurent wedgie somehow but of course this one is different here and this is just so cute I can't wait to wear them for the summer I have quite a few of these that I've owned over the years some of them I have given them away already I have seen some designers that sell this kind of style I just don't see buying this particular style in a high-end or designer brand because I always get it dirty here and I would feel so bad if I have bought and spent like a thousand dollars and then it's just so hard to clean once you get this dirty so I just feel like with this kind of shoes you don't spend a lot of money just get the regular one cheaper one or even get lucky like me and get all of this for like not even seven dollars <laughs> as you notice i did some rearranging of my little studio here for my youtube and uh, doing some clean up I clean my vanity I'm thinking of making a video what's in my vanity before I <laughs> have all my makeup expired because <laughs> I throw away a lot of makeup recently when I was cleaning it and maybe I should do a what's in my vanity video before <laughs> I have no more makeup left <laughs> and also if you have noticed I have removed the drawer that I have the yellow gold on that side where 
I have my mirror and showing you my whole outfit. That's my husband's drawer from when he was second grade from New York and he brought it here in California. It's a cherry wood drawer and actually I, I learned how to paint it using chalk paint and some gold plating on top. I went to the store in San Clemente where they sell all the chalk paints and I learned it here in YouTube how to do it and how to paint just like this one it's a do-it-yourself <laughs> painting I had so much fun doing it alone and I was able to change the knobs and look it a lot better custom to how I like it to be but then right now I moved it on a different location I liked it there for a while since I started my video because I'm so proud being able to paint it myself it seems to be quite taking a lot of space in my videos so I move it on a different location it's a red cherry wood drawer and I converted it into a gold and yellow <laughs> <laughs> I've also been busy working and doing springtime cleaning, uh, giving away a lot of my clothes to my friend Anna and shoe. All right, so that is it for my unboxing today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And let me know in the comment down below how are you handling your shopping products that you have bought online during this pandemic. I would like to know what you're doing and maybe I could learn from you as well and if you have a YouTube video please feel free to let me know and I'm gonna go check it out right now is the best time to start your YouTube channel if you have a lot of things to share and if you like videos <laughs> watching them and being on them so yeah have a good day have a good night have a great life wherever you are always stay safe and positive this will and nothing lasts forever and we will get to the other side more successful happier and we're gonna be getting together again face to face thank you so much for watching and spending time sitting with me i'm very happy i have one videos that have more than 4,000 views uh, my massive paris haul hope you check that one out and i'm just glad that people are interested and my subscribers, I'm so happy to have you. I hope you continue um, staying subscribed with my channel. And for the new ones, I am looking forward for you to subscribe, share, and like my videos as well. Have a good day and you take care. I love you.